wanna forget the value of money and gold. I wanna live life my way and lose my inhibition threshold. <laughs> it's different from the time before. So last time I've been in Australia, I was just focused on working, making music, meet people who make music. And this time, I did the gigs, but also uh, um, was focusing the nature, seeing blue mountains, have a small trip to New Zealand, uh, yeah. Um, it's good. Um, in these days, I really take care of making less, less gigs, just about one gig a month. And so it's always like, yes, I'm looking forward for the next gig and uh, it's not so um, normal now, it's something special, more interesting. I think this is really a, a hard question. Every country has something special. You know, if I say Switzerland, because they supported me in the beginning, very, very good. Um, but always I've been in Holland, the people was nice. And in Sweden it was nice too, so... I think there's no special one. I missed that. So, um, in this first 10 years of DJing, producing, I have no time for me. I just work, work, work. But I have this inner wise who was saying, Kai, you have to enjoy your life. Life is too short. Life is too short. Yeah. Sure, sure, sure. KPD. And I was telling it and telling it and telling it to the people and never did it by myself. So, I start to do this now. Yeah. 
have more time for me um, and try to focus more on the the very important parts. So it's um, it's it's hard to explain, but normally you think, okay, having a big car, having a big house, having all the records. Uh, from Trusted Tracks, this will be the most goal, the, the best thing in your life, yes. But if you're getting older and see more stuff and um, explore more things, you will understand there are much more important stuff. But it's not about money, it's not about how much you have, it's more about uh, memories and what kind of people is around you. Um, no, it's not. It's, you know, making music is making people happy. Uh, working as a yoga teacher is the same, making people happy. Yeah. And, um, Okay, yoga is more, it's more like you touching people, you have direct contact and making music is, uh, for the most time it was like me alone in the studio making music and, or being on stage, but you also have this, yeah, the space between you and the people. And I always was trying to go uh, down and uh, shake hands and thank the people for coming around. But um, yeah, it was always the distance. And being a yoga teacher is more, for me it was important to get um, something normal job. And all the students I worked in, they don't know who I am. Who, they don't know, they don't care about techno music. So um, yeah, they just say, okay, he's a good teacher or a bad teacher, but it's about me, it's not about music. I think I'm now at the point where I uh, make the things that I wrote in the lyrics, enjoying the life, find the stuff what is important for yourself. Um, and I find out for me it's not about making more money, being more famous and I don't know, have the uh, super special card for flying with uh, or something like this. Well, you know, you have seen me before all this time with the Rolex watches and I don't wear watches anymore. So it changed a lot. I think Trusted Tracks was at the peak point, you know, and sometimes it's really good to stop what you're doing if it's at a peak point. And also it was like when I was starting with Trusted Tracks, I made Trusted Tracks because um, I was bored about explaining to people why they have to release these tracks. You know, so go to the label and say, okay, I've tested in the club. It's the people like it, please release it. Yeah, okay, we don't know, maybe uh, we can release it in two years. I say, okay. So I, I make my own uh, record label and um, we have so much great artists on it, like Thomas P. Heckman, like Pulse Driver, like Timo Maas, and it was really a mixture of all kind of music. It was not like focused on just one uh, type. But uh, at the end, everybody was saying, yes, Trusted Tracks is one of the founder of Hardstyle and this Hardstyle music. And, and this was a point for me, what destroys a little bit uh, what Trusted Tracks stands for. And also I was thinking about that we started to copy ourselves. So I said, okay, it's a good point to stop and
still have some heroes that I really like and I'm checking out what, what new stuff they do. But um, not really to the new stuff. Thank you. I think it's cause it was uh, because it was topics of my life, so I put it in lyrics. But um, funny thing is, nobody recognized it. <laughs> but it's okay. To recognize how I feel, how uh, the person behind uh, this money-making machine for all the people who works with me is. So. Um, yeah, the thing is, when I was a child, I was a fan of Elvis Presley and I didn't understand why he took all the drugs and everything. And then I came to a point where I get uh, successful by myself. I said, ah, now I understand. Why, uh, now I understand why people like Robbie Williams look like this. Because yeah, it's, um, it's really different. And it's really hard because if you are on the on the other side, you only see all the glamour stars, big big cars, TV shows, big festivals, but you don't see um, the hard work, the pressure. Um, and for me, the hardest point was when I recognized that I am a product. I'm not a human, I'm not a human being anymore. I'm a product. People are making money with me. And as long as they make money with me, I'm their friend. As the point came when I say, no, I want to change my style, I want to make, I'm inspired by this and this person, this really nice music. I say, oh no, we can't sell it. Okay, goodbye, Kai. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it's really, uh, different than most people think. You know, in yoga, the first uh, sentence of um, the Yoga Sutras of Patanjali, it said, uh, Atta Yoga Nushasana, now begins yoga, now at this moment. Yeah. And it's also learns us to stay in the moment and enjoy the moment and don't think about the future and the past to live in this moment. I really liked the stuff I did and when I was on the, um, on the stage I was saying amazing what you did in the past. Yes, but it's, it's another time and now I live today, so don't know how to explain it in English, but um, it's another part of my life. It's the same as he said 50 years after he was a college superstar football player. Yeah, it's a different part. <laughs> yeah. So I still, still uh, like the music and still um, can't understand how I did it <laughs> um, but I'm still happy about seeing people that enjoy the music and got a nice feeling it was always a long time when I have no ideas, so this is the reason why it always took so long for me to make a new record. And But when I have the idea, I was working on it and take it to the club and check it out and play it. And this was, this was really, really, really uh, the good point when I was starting DJing, so, so I have the chance to check my tracks. And if the people go crazy with a track they never heard before, I say, okay, I will make it. <laughs> and if not, I just put it in the trash. 
So um, this was a little bit like checking uh, on the floor, but mainly I have a lot of discussion with uh, the big record companies. They were saying, oh yeah, you have to make music with uh, vocals, singing and stuff. And I say, yeah, but I don't want to. Yeah, but we make big, big, big money and you can buy all this stuff. And I say, but I don't want to. So, um, yeah, this is also the reason why uh, their, uh, the album I made never came out when fans were waiting for it, because there was some conflict with the company. It was They tried to change me in a direction where I don't want to go. So, yes. I think there are some good tracks also, uh, still in my computer, which I can use and make some new stuff on it. But um, time has changed, sound is changing, and I don't think it will be successful if I do release it now. The point is, I changed the record company from Sony to Universal, and it was a big mistake. This was not a good thing to do. But I should know it before because I know so many people they're changing something like splitting uh, and then they lost everything yeah. or buy a new studio <laughs> and then the sound is gone and so yeah but it was my fault that's okay I, it's, it was, um, I think, when I really realized it, it was in um, Australia. I was a, on a tour with um, some guys uh, like um, Steve Angelo and I don't know, it was, I think it was Armin van Buren, Markus Schulz. And um, I play on the um, trans tent. I said, oh, this is not my music. And then I go over to uh, Steve Angelo and all the guys, and I say, okay, this is like Trusted Tracks five years ago, just 10 BPM slower. This is my music. I like this record, yes. Um, so this was the point where I say, okay, I have to change something, but because um, they put me in one direction. It was like, um, if you are, I don't know, if you are famous um, folks music uh, guy, then they want to hear the same songs all the time. It's like Dippish Mode coming to Frankfurt concert and say, okay, we want to hear the songs from 40 years ago. <laughs> yeah, so um, this was a point where I say, okay, I'm on the uh, wrong stage. They put me on the wrong stage. I want to play with these guys and I love the music. and. This is uh, the same stuff I did five years ago, just a little bit slower, more groovy, but the same sounds, yeah, the same energy and power. But um, yeah. I think I can, um, you know, Karl Lagerfeld? He said in an interview, um, it's really good if people copy you, if it is on the other s opposite, yeah, then it's bad. <laughs> so I think it's okay. Yeah. Um, not really. I've, I've just got some stuff from the States I ordered three years ago for my. Um, modular synthesizers, they build it for me, but if I want to make music, I want to make really new stuff with new sounds, and I think the problem is that it's so, um, it's now really 
in you can't go only this direction with the sound and it's, it's all sounds the same they all use the same sounds like if you go to uh, the big names like Timberland they're using the techno sounds and everything and I don't know if I want to make really something new and then explain to people why they have to release the record and all the stuff. All, all stuff that I get that I like. It's nothing, nothing really if you say only this uh, only trance or only hip hop or only grunge. I just used and picked up uh, songs that I like. And this is what I was doing before when I was DJing. I was always pick the tracks that I like and put in my set. And you know, the funny thing is, especially if I uh, was playing in the really commercial clubs. The resident DJs came to me and said, Hey Kai, if I play just two of your records that you play, uh, the crowd will flee, they will run away. <laughs> but you played it and they all scream. Yes. Um, I don't know, I just played the tracks that I like. And I always was fighting again this, yeah, this is techno, this is trance. If you're playing with these guys, you can't play in this club and everything. It was just uh, picking up the good music and playing it. Future plans are uh, maybe getting a family, um, making something for me, making something for other people, but I'm not really uh, not really at that point that I know it. Maybe I will make a restaurant in Brazil on the beach or something. I don't know. <laughs> it's, everything is open. We'll see. Of course, thank you for uh, all the support, Maybe. all the years. I know there's a lot of crazy guys out there and sometimes I feel a little bit sorry to stop Tracer Tracks, especially for the guys who make Tracer Tracks on the whole back, the logo, and, but, yeah, I think it was a really, really good time and it's because of the people that supported me. Uh, one time I play in a club few years ago and uh, another DJ came to me and say, hey Kai, you're so lucky and I said, why? And he said, you play the music that you like and the people go crazy. And then I realized that a lot of my college that I play with, they play music because they want to get famous or they want to make money or I don't know, but they play the music that they think they will get successful with. And I was always playing the music that I like. <laughs> and I was really lucky that the people also like it. Hearing the music is just like seeing the colors of trance and feeling the power of dancing.